Good morning. Welcome. Welcome to Makeup Monday. This is season two, episode three. And I just put together an eyeshadow combo that I think will make any eye color pop. So if you are interested in that, keep watching because that's what we're doing today. And I am doing a giveaway. So um, the giveaway is your choice. I have three things I can give away. I'm I told everybody it would be a Bella bronzer, which yes, that is an option. But I know several of my clients have Bella bronzer already, but you may not have Starlet. Starlet is an amazing powder illuminator. And Bella bronzer, brand new in the package, amazing. And I'll show you that today. I'll show you both today. And then Trust Eyeshadow, which let me slide this baby out so you can see. It is just like the perfect brown for eyebrows, eyeshadow, eyeliner, all of that. So anyway, those are the three choices that you have today. And I'm just going to wait and see if people hop on. I was practicing with this new phone and lighting and stuff and I put it on for me only to see <laughs> but I don't think you can do that on this page I think on your business page it's always public but hopefully it's not on that setting so we will see but the three uh three or four eyeshadows I'm going to use today I think any what is going on with this craziness um anybody can wear and it'll look really good so I have hazel eyes but if you have brown eyes blue eyes green, green eyes, whatever you have, these colors will really make your eyes pop. So this is Bubba, which somebody dropped it and I can put it back together. So that's pretty cool. Um, you just spray some alcohol, press it with a paper towel and you're good to go. And then this is Bright Eyes. And then this is Sabrina and Cupcake. No, that's Rome, sorry, Rome, and this is Cupcake. And this is just setting powder, and this is that Starlet. That is one of the options of giving away today. Hey, Robin, glad you're here. So I'm giving everyone a choice. You can uh, enter to win either a Bella Bronzer, if you already bought that, and I know a lot of my clients have Bella Bronzer, so I wanted to give more options just in case. But this is Starlet um, Illuminator. And it's a powder illuminator. You can use it as eyeshadow. You can use it up here above the, I mean, under the brow bone to make that pop and to lift the eye. Um, and I'll show other places to use this too. So did you order Bella? Robin, I can't remember. And then this is, I mean, Bella bronzer is my fave. Hello, Amy. This is what Bella bronzer looks like. This is brand new. Um, it's just so good on anybody's skin color and just makes you look like you've been in the sun a little bit and it's my favorite thing and then trust eyeshadow trust eyeshadow is like that perfect brown so yay i'm finally around to watch you live yes i'm so happy you're here to watch me live that's awesome um i know ashley and my sister and other people will be hopping on but anyway i was just showing an eyeshadow combo that i'm gonna put together today that my hair, <laughs> I think it was too clean to curl. I actually washed it last night. But anyway, the um, color combo that I'm putting together for eyeshadow, anybody can wear and it looks really good. So anyway, I wanted to tell you guys a couple things. So in Florida, I did lots of makeovers on friends and family. And one cool story that I wanted to share is my neighbor is in her 60s and she has um, always wanted to wear makeup, but highly allergic to any makeup she's ever used. Uh, she's broken out in hives and itchy and everything. And she was brave enough to let me put this on her face. <laughs> and so all we did, her colors were mango and June. So we just put those colors on and then she wore it all day. And she has um, cows and everything. So she was out in the heat and she texted me the next day and said, Ange, I want to know more about this makeup because I never got itchy. That's pretty phenomenal to me. So I think it's because the makeup's made out of essential oils and way less chemicals than most products out there. 
So if you have sensitive skin and you're wanting to try makeup, just try it. It's a 30 day money back guarantee, free shipping. So anyway, I just thought that was the coolest story ever. And then the milk system, which I use, um, you have horrible service. Okay. Sorry, Robin. I thought, I hope it's not on my end. Hopefully, Amy, hopefully it's clear on your end. You tell us um, what it looks like on your end. Sorry, Robin. I hate when that happens. So I'm going to get so distracted by this retarded hair today. Um, but anyway, uh, my sister-in-law uh, has very, very sensitive skin, and she wanted to try the milk system, which I am a huge fan. I've been using it for well over a year, and it's really helped my skin so much and she wanted to try it and she tried it and she said normally when she tries any products on her skin any kind of skincare on her skin um that she has irritated skin right off the bat but she's now been using the milk system for over a month and her skin looks so good even her husband noticed and i put makeup on her and no reaction and she ordered and everything so just some cool stories you know just some cool things i wanted to share all right, so now I'm going to go ahead and jump in. And for anybody who's gotten their order, because I've had several clients, hey, hey, Aunt Pat, several clients get their orders and send me their pictures of them already doing their makeup, and bam, they have got it. They are doing so good, and I just love seeing your pictures, so keep sending me pictures of your cute faces with your makeup. And if you want to be color matched, just send me a picture of your face with no makeup like this, but stand in front of natural lighting in your house and in front of a window without any beams coming on, take a selfie, and then take one with your makeup on. Then send those to me and I can color match you. So anyway, I'll get started. So I wanted to, I was just gonna do eyes, but I figured since so many people are um, getting their orders that I would just go through the steps because that's how I learned. I just watched other people do it and I thought that was a great way to learn. And sometimes when someone I liked was live, I would just grab my makeup and do it right along with them. <laughs> so that's how I learned. All right, so I'm gonna start, and I, I'm gonna start with a candlelit. A candlelit looks like this. It's a little lighter right here. And see how my neck is light, but my jaw line looks darker? So I want those to match. Yay, Tina! Okay, let me just say this real quick because I don't want to forget. To enter to win either Bella Bronzer, Starlit Illuminator, or Trust Eyeshadow, it's your choice. And I'm going to use all of them. Well, I didn't, yeah, yeah, I'll use all of them today so you can see them. And then, so to enter to win, share it to your page. But if you want multiple ways of entering, if you want to enter more than once, your name can be entered in two or three times by tagging a friend. So if you share, say shared, if you tag a friend, however many friends you tag, tell me, and your name will go into the pot that many times. Cool? And also, we need to get to 20 shares. So 20 shares, somebody wins. Any 10 over that, another person wins. Does that make sense? Is that all making sense? Okay, so anyway, so to match my neck to my jaw, I use a little lighter color called Candlelit. And you can see already, see how much more that matches my neck? So it's okay to have more than one color. And I'm using the Buffy brush because why not, right? It's amazing. But, and you guys, I'm in a different room today and I'm sitting down. <laughs> so tell me if you like this better, if this lighting's better. My, um, my son's work schedule changed and he and well our bathrooms are back to back it's kind of a weird setup so if he gets in the shower then the, the shower is going to be so loud you're going to hear it in my bathroom when I'm getting ready so I didn't want that to happen so I had to switch switch things around okay so that's candlelit all down here okay but everywhere else I'm going to put amber which is this color in the middle and I kind of mix amber and sandy see how sandy's a little darker and but it's more neutral doesn't have quite that yellow undertone and so some people have to mix colors to get the right color so I had a couple people in Florida that had to get two colors to match their face 
that's okay because they're only 14 bucks. And then if you're a little bit darker in the summer, you can just add a little bit more of the darker. And if you're a little bit lighter um, through the winter months, then you just add in more of the lighter color. So it's no big deal. But our faces are always changing color, right? At least mine does. <laughs> it's not always the same color. So I just kind of stipple this cream base makeup on. Gotta go careful on those eyebrows. And you guys saw that video I made, less than 10 minute makeup when I had to put my eyebrows on. That was cute, right? So this is just mixing amber and sandy right here. Now I'm gonna show you a color that I just have never used, but because it's not really my color. But if you're looking for a brighter look under your eyes, this is so good. It's called Sunlit. And see how it's really yellow? Okay, well I'm gonna put that under my eyes. And people, a lot of people like that bright look under the eye, but if you put white there, it doesn't look natural, right? It looks weird, <laughs> almost. But this gives you that brightening effect but it's got that yellow undertone, so it's still masking any darkness I have, but it also is brightening at the same time. So see how much brighter that looks than that? Are you guys here? <laughs> see anybody talking to me? Okay. So you can just see how that sunlit brightened that eye up and covered at the same time. So if you're looking for a color to do under the eyes, sunlit, Pretty good. And if you have super dark under eyes, you would need a, a little bit darker to, to neutralize the darkness, but then you could go back in and just barely put this under there to brighten it up. Oh, good, I'm glad you can tell the difference, Amy. Okay, see how much brighter that is? But it's not white. It's not a white color. And then I like to use this detailed hack up here. Is it just easier to get in your corner of your eye and on the eyelid? And I do like using a lighter color on my eyelid just to prime them for eyeshadow. Okay, so who wants to win what? Don't forget to tell me that you shared if you share because I don't want I don't want to not put your name in the drawing. And tag a friend if you want to put your name in more than once. Because if you share it to your page too many times, you'll go to Facebook jail. They'll lock you out. Okay. So I've got three colors on my face. But it doesn't look like it. These creams just blend so well. Then Perfector Sponge, which we all know is a must. Because we have to blend it. And also we want to make sure that we don't let it go into our creases. And if you ever put a little bit too much, this will pick it up. And I just wet it, squeeze it real good in a towel, and then just use it damp. You don't wanna use it dry, it won't do anything for you, and you don't wanna use it wet because it'll take off your makeup. I shared with friends. Okay, did you share it to your page too? So it, I don't know how many people you tagged, You'll have to tell me. But thank you. I appreciate you doing that. Okay. All blended. And now let's jump into contour. So I'm using, this is called Indigo. No, it's not. It's called, why am I having a brain fart? Astoria. It's called Astoria. Okay. So I'm going to start here under the cheekbone and I'm going to stop about here. I'm going to hug that cheekbone. You don't want your contour to go down. You'll drag your face down. So you just kind of hug that cheekbone, but you don't want to go in to your smile lines. And yes, it looks dark and yes, it looks crazy, but don't worry. It'll all come together. 
And then this side. And shadows get darker the further back they go, so that's why it's darker further back. But this just really accentuates the cheekbone. I'm always going to say that right now because I'm always afraid I'm going to say it wrong. Call it a jawbone. Okay. And then I like that for my chin as well. I mean my jaw under here. When you do this, you do a light coat just to accentuate the jaw and then feather it down. See how it just like chisels out? But up here, yay, thanks Tina. Okay, and up here I use olive. Olive's not quite dark enough for my cheekbones, but I like the tone of it better on my forehead. But I could use either one. Okay, that's that. And then for my nose contour, I use Astoria as well. Let's make sure you can see me. And so you just put, a, put the product on the side of this brush. See how it's just on that side. Lay it on the bone. And then just drag it straight down. See that? Lay it on the bone. I think it's easier if you think about laying it on the bone. And dragging that straight down. And then you just connect them together. And I know probably some of you think, oh my goodness, that's so many steps. But once you get it, anybody who's bought mascara and using it right now, tell them, tell them how it really doesn't take that long once you get your system down. And then you just blend it. That's why I love these brushes. You just flip it and blend it. And then right down the center, I'm going to take Aura. Well, I don't have Aura in this. I'm just going to use Candlelit. You just take a lighter color and you run it right down. Just to give that contrast there. And then you can just use your perfector if you need to. And then I'll show you what it looks like when you just put powder on. <gasps> Robin, I'm so glad you've gotten your system down. Good for you. And it just gets faster and easier. And you know what kind of looks you can do. 10 minutes, Pat. Woohoo! My girl's out there getting it. All right. And then this vanilla dust, that's what I'm using right now, vanilla dust powder. I just put a little bit right under my eyes. I just tap it with this brush. I don't want to go too heavy uh, with powder, but this is such a light powder. <laughs> Tina, you're so funny. Mm, probably not. <laughs> Thanks for making me laugh though. It's been hard to laugh. Okay. Now, let's, oh, I want to show you a new blush. Before I jump into eyes, I want to show you a blush that I'm going to use today that I have not used on here to show you guys. And I don't think I've used these eyeshadows either, a couple of them, so I wanted to show you an eye look that we can all feel confident in wearing. Okay, this is called Frenchie, and... I just hadn't tried it. Getting fast each day. Woohoo, Natalie! That's pretty good because you just got it. Like literally just got it. Okay. So I'm I'm wiping off the buffy brush. Just swirl it, just swirl it on a towel. That's all you gotta do. And then tap it. This is kind of a lighter color, so you can get away with using a little more. But isn't this so pretty for summer? And I'm going right over that contour. Blending it all out. So what do you think of that color? Frenchy. So if you're looking for another blush for summer, 
That's a good one. Okay. I love it. I have no choice. These kiddos are keeping me on my toes. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Natalie, that's so awesome because you love the color. I know. I love it too. Like It's a little deceiving. I didn't think it would look as good, but it really does. Uh, but yeah, I've seen, I've seen other mascara beauty artists with their kids literally on their hip in one hand, they're doing their makeup because everything's in the compact. Love the color and the name is catchy too. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, Frenchie would look good on you with your red hair. Mm -hmm. So pretty. Okay. Now let's go into eyes. So I showed these at the beginning, but I'll show them again. Okay. So we're going to use Rome, Bubba. Bright Eyes, Cupcake, Sabrina, um, maybe Sabrina, but this is Starlet. This is one of the giveaways today. So here it is in the brand new package, and this is what it looks like, but I'm going to put it on so you can see what Starlet looks like, and then Bella Bronzer or Trust Eyeshadow um, are your choices. So remember, like, share, like, and share too. You got to like, share, comment, tag a friend, um, we'll just get you extra. Yeah. So this is Bella Bronzer, which you guys know I'm crazy about. Perfect, perfect for summer. And then the Trust Eyeshadow, which some of you might have, but I don't think I don't think all my girls have it yet. And it's just the perfect brow eyeliner eyeshadow. And you guys can choose which one you want, and I'll send it to you because I love you guys so much. All right, so let's first. I'm gonna prime. This is just the NYX pigment primer. And hi, Gail. Where are you watching from? Okay, so I'm going to put this pigment primer on my eyes. You know what I think I'm going to try today, too? I'm going to try and put pigment primer on my lips and see what happens. <laughs> I don't know what will happen, but I want to see if it works. Okay, so I'm just putting that on there, and that just will help bring the color out even more. These are already pigmented as they are, and that'll make it stay even longer. Um, okay, so I'm going to do two lip colors at the end, and you guys can see which one you like better. I'm going to do um, like a neutral, and then I'm also going to do a bold. Okay? All right, so I'm going to start. This is Rome, and it's this kind of shimmery pretty color. And I'm just going to put that everywhere first. I just want you to know how simple and fast this is. You guys, I'm telling you. You saw my five minute. Five minute, I can't do eyeshadow because I got these. I just can't. <laughs> Maybe I could have just done one. Gail is my friend from New Hampshire. Oh, where? New Hampshire. My uh, my father-in-law lives there, and he lives in Cornish, and we go there about once a year, and it's gorgeous there. Okay, then I'm going to take Bubba. Somebody broke my Bubba on accident. No big deal. You just spray some alcohol on it, take a paper towel, and press it, and you're good to go. Oh, where is that? How close is that to, uh, where's the airport nor near Cornish that we fly into? I can't remember. Um, okay, so I'm just going to put Bubba right here on this brow bone. So if you have hooded eyes, you're not really going to see your crease. And mine are pretty much like that too. So you just want to go right above the crease on the brow bone and then just kind of windshield wiper it. And if you go too far in, you might close off your eye if you have smaller eyes. So if you just keep it right here, it'll make your eyes look more rounded. 15 minutes from Cornish? Oh my goodness. Well, next time we go, I'm going to let you know we're coming. We usually try to go at leaf peeping season. So like that first, second week in October, we're leaf peepers <laughs> for sure. It's just so picturesque and gorgeous that time of year. Okay, so do you, want to get, you guys want me to zoom in a little bit? It's always kind of scary because you never you never know what's going to happen when I touch my phone. I'm going to swipe over the comments for just a second. Yes, success. Whew. All right. So here we are. This is Bubba. Okay. 
And then, I guess I'll just do the other eye and then we'll just go back and forth. There's a, there's a piece of hair on my phone and I'm staring at it. I'm just gonna blow on it. Hold on. <laughs> it won't come off. Oh well. Okay, so Bubba right here above the crease on the brow bone. I'm just kind of concentrating it right here and then feathering it over. Okay, then I'm gonna take the bright eyes. Maybe if I take this brush, I can get it off. You know what? I don't think it's a hair, <laughs> something else. Okay, then I'm gonna take bright eyes right here. And I'm going to actually put that, this is such a gorgeous color, oh my goodness. It's kind of metallic -y. And I'm just gonna go right into that bubba with it. And right here, I'm gonna bring it down. It's easier to get all these parts, especially if you have wrinkly eyes like me, if you go down like that. You see that bright eyes? Let's bring it a little closer. So these kind of goldy colors really look great with any eye color. So you can already see how it makes my greenish hazel eyes stand out. So I'm just concentrating it right there, just doing little swirls and then going right over that bubba. Okay. And then I'm gonna take this, so this is the eyeshadow everything brush. It's only $18 and it is the bomb because you have this blendy, fluffy side, and then you have this more intentional or smudgy side. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the bright eyes and look how little I'm gonna tap. Two little taps, look how much it picked up. I'm actually gonna tap a little bit of that off. And then I'm just gonna go a little bit on the lid. Right there. See how pretty that is? You guys, you gotta have bright eyes in your palette. Hey, Tony. So this is bright eyes, I'm just putting it a little bit in on the lid. All right, then I'm going to go back with that room that I put all over when I started. I'm gonna pick some of that up and I'm gonna go right here and blend those two together. Cause I still want it to be light and bright in here. A little bit more room. And I'm just blending those two colors. Oh, you're fine. I'm just glad you could get on it all. Okay, so for those just coming on, like, share, comment to enter to win either Bella Bronzer, Starlet Illuminator, which I'm getting ready to show you right now, and then, um, or Trust Eyeshadow, which is a beautiful brown that goes for eyeliner, eyeshadow, or eyebrows. So it's got lots of uses. Yeah, browns are, you gotta have a good brown, right? So um, I can actually show you that before I show Starlet. So um, let's see here. Let me make sure I'm picking up the right brown. We have so many pretty browns. That's, this is Trust right here. So the, the one I, sh this is the brand new one in here that I'll send, but this is, this is what Trust looks like. Okay, so if you have hooded eyes, just gonna show you a little trick. Um, this is bugging me, I don't know why. Maybe it just looks more pigmented there. Okay, if you, want, if you have more hooded eyes and you wanna kinda of disguise that, see how this is nice and bright here, and this is kinda of darker? We're gonna brighten up here with that starlet in a minute, but if you go in the crease with a darker brown, I think I'm gonna close my eyes and kinda of just go in that crease. And then I'm gonna blend it. Okay, and when you see how it's like deeper in there, but it makes this pop forward and this pop forward. Just having that having that darker hidden back in there. Does that make sense? So 
See the difference between these two, how this one, the lighter colors pop forward. So that's just a little trick you can do. So I'm just putting a little trust in there and I'm going to circle it around with this other side. These brushes are so good because you can just flip it. Okay, shared and liked, put my name in 50 times. <laughs> if you tag a friend, each time you tag a friend, you actually get your name put in that many times. So, but you got to tell me how many friends you tagged or who, you know, put their name in there. You got to put their name in the link or in the comments. That's how I'll know you tagged them, I guess. That's the do that. Just do that. Whoever you want to, whoever you think would like it. So this is just picking up any fallout. If I got any fallout, I'm just cleaning up. All right, now I'm going to show you the starlet. I'm going to use the uh, multitasker brush. Let me see where I put it. Here it is. Okay, so this is Starlet right here that I'm gonna give away, but I'll get some of my Starlet out and show you what it looks like. And do you guys, how do you guys like this lighting and me sitting in this room versus my bathroom? Is this better? Oh my goodness, I forgot brown eyeliner at Walmart. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> okay. Gail, oh, Gail, did you share it to somebody? Your name's in the comments. Love the lighting. Okay, good. I'm glad you guys love the lighting. All right, so this is Starlet, and I'm, you guys, this, these powder illuminators are so powerful. <sighs> like, you gotta be careful. This thing will last you forever. So the, this multitasker brush is so good for getting in these small areas. So we want to brighten under there just to lift the eye. So look at that pretty, pretty color right there. Okay. Just a little more so you can really, I just want you to see it more. You don't really need more in real life, but in here, so pretty the way it catches light. Lighting looks good, okay, good. Another tip if you have hooded eyes, see how my eyebrows don't come down like this, they kind of go out toward the temple. That's a great way to open up hooded eyes too. Because if you draw your eyebrows that sharp down line, you're gonna close off your eye even more. Especially if you have smaller eyes. Okay. So I'm gonna take the detailed hack and I'm just gonna blend this with it. We also have a blend and tap brush. I need to order it. There, that worked better. That was bugging me. All right, so there you go. Look how easy and quick that is. And that starlet up there, look how pretty it is. Another place you can put starlet, I'm gonna use the fluffy side of this detailed hack as well. I'm just gonna put a little bit of the starlet, like that much. And look how much it picks up, gosh. Okay, and I'm going to put it right here. And right here. See how it just catches the light? It's just so pretty. And I just lightly, lightly do that. You can also take Starlet. I'm going to use the multitasker brush actually for this. I'm just going to put a little bit on there. And you can go right here. See how that just brightened right in that corner? And then I, you can also use it as eyeshadow if you wanted to. It's very pretty for that. It looks kind of white, but it also has a pinky tone to it. Okay? So, there you go. That's one of the giveaways if you want to try a powder illuminator. Okay? And now I'm going to show you a different way to do eyeliner today with um, one of our contour colors, it's called Cola. And it's called Cola because it's basically black. Let me get it out of here real quick. I can show it to you. Okay, this is Cola Contour. Super black, right? I'm gonna grab a drink, hold on. 
my mouth gets dry and then it sounds like I'm smacking and it drives me nuts. Hmm. <laughs> you just started doing that? Okay, that's awesome. So for eyeliner and the cola contour, I'm gonna use the multitasker brush. And I'm just gonna get some on there. These are like a thicker type consistency so you can get kind of more on. Okay, and then I'm gonna have to look in here. So you can start down here. Oh, did you tag any, if you tag an actual friend, you just have, if you put, the way to tag somebody is that, I think it's the at symbol and then their name. You, you type at with their whole name together and it should put their name right there. I think that's how you do it. Okay, so then from there, I'm just going to come up and out with it. Okay, you see that? And then, now that I've made that line up there, now I can grab the tip of that line and pull back towards. You did put, okay. So, Gail, when you put in Julie Hastings, does it, does it, um, did it tag her? Do you know what I mean? Like, did it, or does it just look like a comment? Because it should be like a color, like a blue or something when you tag a person. I think you have to do the at symbol to actually tag. Okay, so now I'm using the small end and I'm just going to kind of tap that in there to get that little wing effect there. And then the, the cool thing about this makeup is that the, these are all cream except for the eyeliner, I mean except for the eyeshadow. So you can just go in and I just bent this brush over and I'm just cleaning that up. See how that works? So you don't have to be perfect at eyeliner with this stuff because it's just so easy to fix. All right, now I'm just going to go back to the big end and I'm just going to tap it, press it into the lash line. But I'm going to have to do that in my mirror, I think, because it's a little harder to do right there. Make sure you can see me. Oh crap. <laughs> that touched up here. And you just follow all along your lash line. And just pressing motions. Okay. And then I'm going to take the small end to do right here. Okay, and I would kind of fix right here. It's so much easier for me to do this in my big old bathroom mirror than in these little ones. Okay, so that's Cola Contour. Just another option for eyeliner. And then under the eye, I'm gonna show you another little trick that I like to do. So this is the eyeshadow everything brush. This is that, hey, Fina. Um, this is the smudgy end. I can see how when I bend it over, it gets flat. So I'm gonna go back into that bright eyes and just grab some. And then I gotta do a mirror for this for sure. And I'm just gonna go right underneath the lash line. I want to make sure you can see me, so I may have to look at you. See how pretty that looks? How I just tied it in? So, that's one item. And we're going to go do the eyeliner on the other one. Got the multitasker brush and the cola contour. And start down here. The reason why I like to start here is it gives you that guideline of where to go up from there. Just go up and out. Okay, like that. Just get that line going. Okay. 
and then flip it around this way and pull in towards the eye. And then you can use the small end too. And then if you want to clean it up, you just take this and clean it up like that. All right, then, love the colors. Yeah, these. the reason why I chose these colors, hold on, I gotta, gotta do one of these things here with these eyes, older eyes. I chose these colors because these would look good on any eye color and just make them pop. So, there we go make this a little darker too okay now I'm just gonna do the same thing hey Courtney I'm just pressing this against the lash line Like that, and then I'm going to take, well this eye turned out better than the other eye. I think it's because I gotta take this one over my face instead of just like right there. All right, and then I'm gonna take this again, the eyeshadow everything, bend it like that, put a little bright eyes on there, and just go right here, blend that into that black. Look how pretty that looks, so pretty. Okay, and then mascara, and then I'm gonna do two lip colors, and then we're done. All right, if you're just hopping on, make sure that you're liking, sharing, commenting, and get, you know, just engage in the conversation with me, and then um, you'll be entered to win. If you want multiple entries, tag a friend and I think you have to do an at symbol and their name and that'll actually tag them otherwise it's just like typing a name and typing a comment does that make sense it won't actually tag the person oh, oh, oh my gosh. that felt great guys so good as my eye waters <laughs> Pat's not funny I'm just kidding. It is funny, actually. It is funny because I do it all the time. And if you're just hopping on, you can pick what you want to win. You can either pick Bella Bronzer, which I'm going to use here in a minute. A Starlet, which I have on right here and right here and in the corner of my eyes. It's a beautiful powder illuminator. It'll last you the rest of your life. I'm there we go, there we go. And then you wanna put a dot right there. <laughs> now you always have a Q-tip, that's for sure, and you just roll, don't smear it, just roll it. Okay. Do you have a web page? Um, I don't have a web page, um, but I am on Instagram, I'm on here. And I'm on YouTube. But I'm going to link, I didn't have time this morning. Right after I finish, I'll link, oh, webpage. Okay, so to order makeup, if that's what you're talking about, um, I'm gonna put my link to my page for that after this video is over. And then I'll also put what colors I used in the description. But I was kind of in a hurry, so I didn't. Okay, I love this mascara. Okay, so normally I don't, normally I do not um, put mascara on the bottom, but for this, I'm just gonna put a little right where I put that bright eyes just to give it a little bit of a contrast right there. So 
so just a little, not much. All right, now Bella Bronzer, because my goodness, if you win this, you are a lucky girl, because it is so gorgeous. You like the bright eyes? I know, it's, it's a must. It is a must have, just saying. Okay. All right, so this is the Bella. So I just put it on the fluffy side of the B squared. It's called B squared because it's blush and bronzer. Just a cute way of that she named it. Um, and then I just put a little bit on there and I start like right here so I can just feather that down. But see how it looks like I just got a little suntan. This looks good on everybody's skin type. It doesn't come out orangey or weird. It just is so pretty. And then I'm going to put some on my neck to warm that up and then um, if you want I, I was gonna do it today but I didn't you could I was just gonna show you you could use this seriously the Bella you could use it as blush you could use it up here you could in, just do a really fast look with your Bella all right bye Tony thanks for being on all right lips and we're done I'm gonna show two different lips one more neutral and one more bold so I'm gonna use, first, I'm gonna mix Desert Sunset, which is a glossy, these are lip and cheek. So you can use them as lips or you could use them as blush. And um, for anybody new here, like Gail, everything's magnetic, nothing falls out. You pick your own colors and just like that. Nothing falls out. And they have different size compacts too. So if you only, it, it, it's everybody's budget is factored in. So if you um, wanted to just start out small, if you want to start out medium, if you want to start big, you can do it all. And you just create your own. And everything, these are all $14 each. And they're so good. They're high quality and a good price and last for a very, very long time. So some of, like this one I've had for uh, almost a year and a half, and I'm just now seeing the bottom. Isn't that crazy? And then the ones I use all the time, these two, I've had this one since like October, and this one since January. So you can see they really last and last. Okay, but I'm gonna mix these two. All right, before I mix them, I'm gonna put on a contour. I don't think I've shown you this one yet. It's called Indigo. And it looks like, it looks like this. It's, it looks a little darker, but the color of it for lip liner, see how pretty that is? Yeah, Aunt Pat, they do last forever. And I'm a makeup girl. I love it. So I wear makeup almost every day. And look how mine lasts. So if you don't wear makeup every day, we're talking a year or more. And most people are more than one color because our faces are not one color. Okay, so indigo is like a little bit darker for my skin type as far as putting it on my face. But for lips, look at that. Is that like the perfect color? Okay, and then I'm going to dip my finger into, I'm not going to do my middle finger and flip you guys off anymore like I've been doing. I'm going to use this one, this one, no, this one. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to tap a couple times in Desert Sunset, but just one time into that. Um, sandstone. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? And it really just kind of ties everything in. So that's one option, but if you want to go a little more bold, let's see, I have to kind of blot this. I forgot to bring a tissue, so I'm just going to use this towel. Just kind of blot it. Okay, 
I'll just put a darker color on top. So I have a couple of them. You guys help me. <laughs> Which one would you rather see? So this is NYX. I just got it at Walmart for like $6. Can you, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of got a glare. But that's that one. This is from Anastasia. And that one's really pretty too. This is kind of a long wear one you can get like at Ulta. And then I even have, I think this is a Lancome one. I don't know what it's called though. And I'm going to be honest, if I don't have a magnifying glass, I'm probably not going to be able to read it. <laughs> but I think it says Hot Kiss. Hot Kiss Shimmer. All right. So what do you guys want? Hot Kiss Shimmer. Um, this one is Allison. Hot Kiss Shimmer, Allison, or just put NYX for NYX. And tell me which one, which more bold lip you want to see. Hot Kiss, Allison. NYX. Okay, Gail wants to see Allison. Anybody else? We'll see what we get. And I'm so excited for somebody to win. Um, oh, and then I was thinking about doing um, a mermaid kind of eye. I tap a little illuminator in the, yes. Yeah, and I, I was going to do that today. Why didn't I do it? I was going to put a little honey illuminator which is right here. So yes, that's a great, thank you. You reminded me, I had it on my list and forgot. So you can put Honey Illuminator right in the middle and just cause a little sheen right there. And this is what Honey looks like. This is a cream illuminator versus the powder one I'm giving away. This is Honey and it looks really good over lips, lipsticks. It looks good everywhere. We can tap it up here. Okay, so everybody's saying Allison. Yeah, it's a good one. All right, so what I do is I wipe some of it off first, and you can actually line with this brush. I like the brush on it. And then I always take my finger and kind of press it in there a little bit. Okay, and then this. Okay, so there you go. That's what a more bold look, look would look like. Wow, what did I just say? I don't even know. Okay, so if you have a more neutral eye, you can get away with a more bold lip. And then I'll pop, this is a color stay too, it's good. Sometimes they have um, on sale, um, these Anastasias, they're $20 each, but when I got them, they were two for 20. So look for deals like that. If I see a deal out there, I'll post it in the comp up in the description when we're done. And then if I want to put a little honey illuminator right here, see how it just gives that little shimmer. Okay, so this contest is going to <laughs> Tina. <laughs> Tina's got so many names in there. It's so cute. I love it. Yeah, this girl is trying to win, for sure. So I was going to put a mermaid, oh my gosh, if I could only talk, a mermaid eye look together. Would you guys be interested in seeing a mermaid eye? So let me show you the colors that I created. I did put a look together, but I just didn't do it today because I, I know like I wanted something that was so relatable to any woman out there, any um, eye color out there. But... I really want to try this color right here. Okay, so this is Bayou. Look at that. And then this is Glass Slipper right here. Look how pretty that is. And then, um, so those two, and then this is Lullaby. 
And I wanted to put an eye look together. It kind of looks like a mermaid. Oh, you do want to, Natalie? Awesome. So next week I'll do that. Um, and I think I even used Starlet in it too because it's got that pinky pretty color in it. So next week I'll do the mermaid eye. But maybe, let's see. I think you could wear rainbow lips and get away with it. <laughs> rainbow lips. That's awesome. I love you. You're so sweet. Okay, you guys, if you have any questions, you can message me. If you want to be color matched, message me. I'll You can send me a picture with no makeup on. This is driving me nuts. Um, with no makeup on and indirect light in your house. So you stand in front of a window that has no beams coming on your face. Every Monday. Yes, Gail, every Monday I'm on here. This last Monday I was um, in Florida, so I wasn't on, but... Yes, Makeup Monday is every Monday, and um, I think for you it's noon that I'm on, but it's going to be 9 o'clock where I live in Arizona. So, uh, now I got distracted. <laughs> I don't know what I was saying. Um, that's okay. So, yeah, every Monday. Oh, okay, so if you want your to be color matched, you just stand in front of a window in your house that doesn't have direct sunlight. So if I see beams on your face, it's going to change the color of your face. But just the indirect light. Um, take a, like two steps back, take a picture, and then take one with your makeup on so I can see how you like to wear your makeup as well. Send those both to me and I can tell you which um, foundation colors, which we call highlight colors, would match your skin. And I would give you some recommendations on blushes and things, but you can pretty much from there pick whatever you want. Um, again, I use this sunlit under my eyes today and I'm loving it. It just, look how it just brightened up under there and with that yellow undertone it just can cover any kind of like light brown um, discoloration too so that's an option if anybody's looking for that but um, I'm an independent mascara beauty artist and I love it so much or I would not be on here at my age sharing it with you I really love it and I used it for over a year before I started promoting it the skincare is the bomb that's what changed my skin. I used to have brown spots on my forehead that were bigger, like sunspots, that I would have to go and um, put extra coverage on, but I don't. I mean, I've got like little freckles. That's not a big deal, but I had some big brown um, sunspots there that have gone away. So anyway, it works on wrinkles. It balances your skin. I can't talk enough about it. And everything, 30-day money-back guarantee, always free shipping, so you have nothing to lose. There are Mother's Day bundles right now, so I'll put my my um, link in the description for you so you guys can check it out. You can check out the Mother's Day bundles, you can check out the colors that I'll post that I use today. But if you have any questions, I am always here. I'm here for you, okay? But thank you guys for hopping on. Thank you for all of your um, sweet messages and checking in on us this week because we've had a hard time. <laughs> But I'm so grateful to friends who um, reached out to us because we lost our fur baby that we love so, so much. And um, I wanted to say that at the very end because I knew I'd get emotional. But thank you for reaching out and sending your love and thinking about us. It means so, so much. So, all right, you guys. Oh, yay. Yeah. Wow. Natalie's only been using the milk system for, what, like a month and a half and you're already seeing that? It's incredible, I'm telling you. Okay, love you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Talk to you next week for Makeup Monday, Mermaid Eye.